Hello. Today I will present you what is Sitecore Cloud Portal, what is an organization, how you can navigate between apps, how you can get help, and what roles are available in your Sitecore Cloud Portal. Sitecore Cloud Portal is the connection between your applications and the composable DXB. With our unified identity, you need one login to manage and access all of the products. Let's start and on introduce you to it. Currently, I am on the login screen of the Sitecore Cloud Portal. I enter my credentials. Click Continue. Enter my password. Click Continue. And I am locked into the Sitecore Cloud Portal. As you can see, I am part of an organization, Customer Portal. What is an organization? The organization is the entity that brings together users and apps for your company. It enables organizational owners and admins to manage and configure team members, accesses, and security across the organization and the apps. Now, let me show you how you can navigate uh, between apps. The nine dots in the corner, we also refer to as the switcher. By clicking on the switcher, you can see all of the apps to which you have access. By selecting a specific app, you can directly navigate to the app or to one of the available quick actions. Let's go to Pages. By simply clicking on Pages, I'm actually redirected to the app. If I go back to the switcher within Pages, I can select and go to another app. I can go back to Portal, or I can also access my Help section as well. Let's go back to Portal and explore more of the switcher. Okay, so within the switcher, you can switch between organization. This feature will be available only if you are part of more than one organization. This will be particularly helpful for our partners working with multiple customers. You can also go to the help section. This section is available in all of the apps that support the switcher. You can see all of the documentation, the Sitecore support portal, and also the Sitecore developer portal. Okay, now let's navigate to the create a support case. This section, you can actually submit a support case to our product support team simply by entering title, description, and selecting from the apps that you have in your organization. You can select any of the app or the Sitecore Cloud portal itself. Let's select XM Cloud. By selecting XM Cloud, I get an additional field environment. I can select from the available and provisioned environments, or I can select not applicable if I have if I experience a general uh, issue. I can also modify the impact connected to my uh, ticket. Okay, let's click submit. Okay, my ticket has been successfully uh, created. I can see directly my case number, which I can copy. And as well, I will get an email, email with my case number and all of the details that I have submitted to the support team. You will receive all of this on the email address with which you are registered in the Sitecore Cloud portal. Okay, now let's go to the admin section and explore what type of roles you can have in the Sitecore Cloud portal. We have three main roles, organizational owner, organizational admin, and organizational user. Let's start with the organizational owner. Today, there is only one organizational owner assigned to an organization, and this is the first user invited to the newly created organization by the Sitecore team. It is the owner's responsibility to invite the initial users within the organization. As of today, the owner has access to the admin section, as well as to all of the apps that are available for this organization. We have a second row, organizational admin, that shares most of the permissions uh, with the organizational owner. 
the organization of admin has also access to the admin section, you can see all of the apps that are provisioned for this organization. We don't have a limit on the number of users that can have the role of organizational admin. Let's go back and explore the last row, organizational user. The organizational user can only navigate to the home sections and to the My Profile area. This role doesn't have access to the admin section and cannot manage the member's invitation or organizational settings. This role also only have access to the specific apps which the admin or owner had assigned to this user. How to manage access and permissions across your organization and app. As an organizational owner or admin, you will have access to the admin section in your Sitecore Cloud portal. So let's explore it together. On the landing page, I can see all of the users that have access to this particular organization. Simply by clicking on the avatar icon or on the ellipsis icon on the right side, I can uh, view the details for this particular user. By going into the details section, I can modify the organizational access or the app access. If I change the access for this user to an admin to a user, then I will have to specify for each one of the apps available in this organization what type of access I want to give to this user. You can select from user, admin, and no access. For the latest information on the permissions for each one of the rows and the associated product, please refer to the Sitecore Cloud documentation. On this page, you can also remove the access for this particular user. By removing the access, you remove them from the whole organization and all of the apps. Now, let's go back and let's invite some users. You can invite users by the invite button here, or you can also execute this action from the invite team members section over here. Let's go back to the admin section. Okay, you can invite a couple of users at the same time, simply by typing their email address or copy and pasting their email address. You have to select the organizational access you want to grant to this user. By default, you can always select between admin or a user. And as well, you have the options to specify the app access. And the options are the same as the one that you saw in the view details page. You can also invite users without granting them access to any apps in this organization. Okay, let's invite them to this one. Send invite. Okay, my invitation have been sent. Let's go to the invitation section. I can see my newly created invitation that I just sent, as well as the rest of the invitations that are in pending or expired status. An invitation goes into expired status uh, seven days after it was sent. Okay, simply by clicking on the ellipsis icon, uh, you can view the invitation detail, resend the invitation, or delete the invitation. By clicking view, a drawer opens with all of the invitation details, status, email address, organizational access, and above access if it was specified. If you try to resend an expired invitation, then this invitation uh, status will update from expired to pending again and you will be able to see the invitation here. As a last step, let's go to the multi-factor authentication page. By enabling MFA, you are making it mandatory for all of the users in your organization. You only have to navigate to an enable MFA button and confirm that you want to execute this action for all of the users in your organization. In case if a user loses their recovery codes or device, you or the user itself can contact the Sitecore support team to help and reset their account so that they can access Sitecore Cloud Portal.